Stanley season. He was overlooked by France during the Six Nations. He was with them during the, uh, the World Cup. Didn't get a look in during the Six Nations, but uh, he's such a tremendous athlete. He is one of those players. He plays in the back row. You see him sprinting on the wing like a, a genuine winger. So the players make it out onto the field. That's the, the first uh, good point of the day. McAloo up against uh, Willem Sir. The skippers. Referee today, Jonathan Gagné. Uh, the very experienced Adrian Decotte and uh, Thierry Mallet on his, uh, on his touch lines. And Christophe Berdos, an experienced VAR. So everything ready to rock and roll. And away we go with Jury Segon sending the ball deep into the Montpellier territory, just outside the 22. It's cleaned up. Corpus Reinach looking to get his hands on the ball. The uh, Springbok scrum half. Feeding the ball to uh, Tyler Duguy, the Canadian international lock forward. And Reinach again with the boot out into touch. Patrice Colazzo. Who's uh, looking after affairs now. At Montpellier, obviously at the uh, flanks, you've got Bernard Laporte, who is the overall supremo of rugby. Uh, Colazzo has been doing some great work. Stade Francais looking to break through the middle. There away goes uh, Dakawanga, wearing 14 for Stade Francais, his brother wearing 11 for uh, Montpellier. In goes uh, Paul Aloemile. Segond, oh, the little knock forward. This will be cleaned up by Willem, sir. And hoofed upfield by Boutier. And that's made good ground. That's a good clearance from the fullback. Anthony Boutier, 31 years old now, did win uh, eight caps for France back in uh, 2021. But, uh, a little bit of a forgotten man. It's a decent clearance, though, and immediately puts Montpellier on the front foot. They will have to uh, try and turn this over. McAloo climbs high. Brad Weber, the scrum half, getting the ball away. Collected by Tisserand. Boutier once again looking for a way through. He's uh, past one man. There's no road through there, though. Lays it back for uh, Reinach. Reinach thinks he can find a way through. Well, he's, uh, he's he's won the line out. Ball coming off the boots. There is the bench, uh, the Parisian bench. Mamadou Meta, just 21 years old, uh, the hooker. He'll be uh, wearing number 16. Very inexperienced. He's only had 57 minutes of uh, top level rugby so far. Will be uh, an interesting substitution as and when it happens when he comes on for Luca Perblanc. That one is stolen by uh, Stade Francais. Not what Montpellier needed. Segon flings the ball wide, and now is there a little bit of space? Dakuanga dragged down as his brother lurking, not able to get his hands on the ball that time. Applause from Karim Gezal. There is. Uh, Peniasi Dakawanga, he's extended his contract with Stade Francais till 2026. The flash has been sensational this season, scored that incredible try against uh, Racing 92, which, uh, well, if you haven't seen it, look it up. Just You just have to stick Dakawanga try into your, uh, into your search engine, and that'll be the first thing that comes up. Absolutely sensational end-to-end -end try. More than then, because he runs across his whole uh, 
uh, behind his own goal line to start with. But anyway, let's focus on today as uh, Segon feeds once more. Merchant to drag down there, almost stole away. Daku Wanga has it, he's looking for a space. The whistle goes though, there was a little knock on. He thought he was through there for uh, try number six of the season. He's the younger brother, 26 years old. Masivesi, 30. So there will be a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of a family contest in here. He's so quick out the blocks. Straight through the gap and he was gone. They were a little bit fortunate there. There's Joe Marchant. His 13th game of the season, his 12th start. From uh, Harlequins. In the summer, ended his England career, or at least uh, put a halt to it. Perhaps he'll go back, who knows? We will see. A lot can happen in three years before the next World Cup. Nice little looping manoeuvre from Montpellier. Serpentine trying to find his way through. He's uh, dragged down, but this is lovely work. And now, there is the other Dakuwanga. Sibesi. I think maybe hanging on a bit too long. The penalty awarded to uh, Stade Francais. Yeah. Jory Segon will get the chance to uh, find a little bit of territory. Stade Francais will be looking now to try and assert themselves. Lovely work on the loop with Reinach and uh, Carbonell. Super work from them. Serfontaine pulled down. Lovely hands. Dakuwanga. Just held up. Stade Francais with the clean ball from the line out. Etienne drives in. A little pop pass for uh, Abramashvili. Georgian prop. As a goal, who's uh, trying to force his way through. The ball is up forward. And that was again good work from Montpellier. It's hard to uh, underestimate what a predicament Montpellier were in earlier this season. They won their opening game against La Rochelle, and uh, that was. Uh, that was fine, that was uh, as expected, that was a home game, but then they lost the next six. And uh, they were bottom of the table. It looked very, very bleak indeed, but uh, at that point in came uh, Bernard Laporte and Patrice Colazzo. They turned things around and they've had a very good run of late, uh, albeit they, were, they took a hammering last week, beaten 54-7 at Toulon. They really did, it was eight tries to one in that one. That hurt. But, uh, they had won the four prior to that. And I imagine with uh, six games remaining after this one, it, well, it will be streaky all the way to the line, but uh, Montpellier have the depth and they have the quality. You'd expect them to uh, be able to steer themselves away from that 13th position. It's a big drive from uh, Stade Francais. They have the penalty and the first choice chance for points today. Big squeeze from them, that front row of Sege, Abramashvili, Luca, Pierre Blanc and uh, Paul Alouemil. As a go on Pacenti in the second row, Makalu, Chapuis and Hubble Kufner in the back row, just uh, putting the squeeze on Montpellier and uh, that was, a, that was a terrific piece of work by the uh, Stade Francais forwards. And that'll give a chance for Joris Sigand to put the first points on the board.
Straight through the middle it goes. Jury Sigon takes his tally for the season up to 90 points and Stade Francais lead by three points to nil. Nice take from the restart. Stade Francais making great progress. Really working the ball well. Into the 22. A little bit awkward for uh, Boutier. This time off his right boot though. Into touch it goes. Well, don't expect uh, a points feast this afternoon. I will give you that one little word of warning at this early stage because these two teams have the lowest points tallies in the top 14 this season. Montpellier 385, Stade Francais 400. Just 400, the leaders. And uh, they've got the fewest tries as well. Both sides have scored 42, and that is the lowest for a, all the teams in the top 14. But uh, fingers crossed we'll have a good contest. It's a, a bright day, the going is firm underfoot, and that should help the runners. Should open up a few gaps later on as well. Where is it? The ball is there, though it's out, says the ref. Abramashvili is... Uh, Having one or two problems there, getting the ball clear, but it's uh, fed out for uh, Alo Emil. That's Paul, the big brother. Moses uh, having a weekend off today. And Chapuis feeding. Pierre Boudon, the centre, takes it in. Doesn't get terribly far. Stade Francais come again. Oh, it's uh, turned over, but illegally, says the ref. And that is Christopher Tolafur, I think, who's uh, penalised the hooker. And that is going to be another opportunity for Jory Segonde. And not surprisingly, they are going for the posts. Looking to get... Uh, some early points up on the board. Big drive in there from Pierre Henri Azago. That's where Tolafu are off his feet. Whips the ball away, but uh, illegally. So Joy Segonde. Oriac in 2018. He's been uh, a steady presence for Stade Francais over the years. Gets the ball between the sticks. So another penalty for Sigon. That's 6 0 to the visitors. But, uh, as I was saying earlier, Joris Sigon looking for a change of scenery. Heading down to Bayonne at the end of the season, along with uh, the number eight, Giovanni Handel Kufner, both of them heading down to the Basque country, which, uh, well, it's not a bad swap, actually. The capital for the Basque country, it's an incredible part of France, really lovely. And it's rugby mad as well. The cafes and bars there, all uh, with posters of the, uh, the local rugby team, the local uh, ball fighters, no footballers, but the chase is on, Dakuanga. And just to get back and get the touchdown, just ahead of Julien Tisserand. But, uh, it was a close call for the uh, Parisians. From the fumble, a little kick ahead. Dakuanga showing his pace though, getting the touchdown. And uh, saving the day. It was Reinach just uh, not quite able to get there. Beconnier, the number eight, with the big drive, does well. Reinach. They've looked sharp around the edges. Uh, Serfontaine is held up. 
Tolafua picks up. There's a knock on there, though, surely. Yes, there is. One or two little errors at the moment in the Montpellier handling. Louis Carbonell that time. The ball just popped up at him a little too quickly. So down they go again. Weber with the feed. Marble Kufner is at the back there. The front rows have popped. The referee. It's going to make him do it all over again. Forwards. They've got uh, Edosio Tolofua and uh, Masharashvili in the front row. Dugui and Willemsa, the lock forwards. Uh, Nico Jansa van Rensburg, Kuba Kamara and Alexandre Beconier in the back row. And this time, it's Montpellier who uh, get the advantage. The free kick, Reinach uh, brought back. And uh, Jonathan Gagnier being given the bird by the home crowd, who reckoned he should have let uh, Reinach go all the way to the line. He said he wanted to take it from the right place. And uh, in the end, Montpellier decide that uh, they'll take another scrummage. This time they will have the put in. Morgan Parra going through the numbers with the... Uh, Stade Francais think tank. Relaying information to Karim Ghazal down on the touchline. This is better from Montpellier. They got the burst off from Dakawanga. Reinach. Ooh, was that forward? Well, there's a charge towards the line from Van Rensburg, but I think that was a forward pass. The crowd has uh, got very excited. Van Rensburg thought he had his fifth try of the season. Thomas Reiner shakes his head in disbelief. Let's have a look. Yeah, well, I think I'm in agreement with the referee on this one, but uh, at home, you can make up your own minds. Thomas Reiner shakes his head. I, I, I think when he looks, well, Patrice Colazzo also giving it the blink. But uh, I think when they uh, have a look back at that, they'll, 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 they'll realise that the referee was quite within his rights to uh, call them back there. So this time it's Brad Weber with the put in. Scrummage goes down once again in the front row. Looks like Tolafu was being uh, the man told off. There he is. Concedes another penalty. He does uh, concede a few, Christopher Tolafu. Stan Francais get the clearance in. There he is. You can see Tolafu going down on his knees. The others with him. Now, four penalties conceded already by Montpellier. None by Stade Francais thus far. Nicely taken by Ryan Chapuis. Still there for uh, Stade Francais. Pierre Blanc uh, has it down. Managed to bring it back with Boudon. Sends 
the high ball. That's a good one. It's uh, messed up a little bit by uh, Dakuwanga. Montpellier get away with it, though. And looking to feed White. There's a bit of space out here now for the uh, for the runners. That is uh, Julien Tisserand wearing 14. Alexandre Beconnier impeded by uh, Tolafua. Going backwards, has managed to get the ball back. Tolafua takes it in now, drives in, lays the ball back. Tyler Duguay is there, lending his weight. And over the top goes Kobus Reinach. Well taken by uh, Kieran Hamdawi on his knees. Didn't have much time to uh, scramble that away, and in fact, he has been penalised. Well, just keeping his mitts on the ball a little bit too long. So Montpellier with the chance to uh, chip away at that lead. Carbonell. There it was, it was, uh, it was Hamdawi. Just didn't quite take that cleanly enough to be able to set something up. And, and so it's Carbonell with the kick. He's got 159 points to his uh, name so far this season. He's behind uh, two other players. He's third in the points ranking. Joe Simmons, the best with 186 for Poe. And Camille Lopez of Bayonne, 173. And Louis Carbonell now moves up to 162. It's Montpellier 3, Stade Francais 6. has been linked with a move to Stade Francais next season. Stade Francais uh, losing Segond. They've got Zach Henry uh, at uh, fly half as well. And of course, Leo Barre can also play fly half. And I think it's his preferred position, to be honest. Um, but they will be looking, they are looking for other, another fly half to help them out. Louis Carbonell was on their, uh, on their list and uh, he's According to L'Equipe, he has ruled out that possibility. He intends to see out his contract with Montpellier. So he'll be there next season. Which will be some relief to, uh, to the Montpellier side. Such an important part of their game. Well played by Beconnier, putting pressure again on Stade Francais. They've got to be careful not to give away another penalty. Segond lays the ball back. For Weber. They seem to have uh, ridden that smoothly. It's not quick ball. You don't get quick ball with Stade Francais. They're not the, uh, the ones, they're not like Poe, who like to whip it out within seconds, get their backs running. They're a much more deliberate kind of a team. And that may account. Oh, and mine were. <laughs> well, talking deliberate. Daku Wanga with the pickup. But. Uh, an infringement had been made. The penalty is awarded. So Carbonell, as the sun comes out, at the start, Yves du Manoir able to send his team up towards that 22. It was really smart work by uh, Beconnier. Brad Weber caught. Uh, well, caught short, really. Tolapu again. What a waste. Stade Francais winning the uh, line out and looking to get the backs moving. Marchand feeding Dakuwanga. 
Uh, flips the ball back inside. He's come back on the uh, blue side. Lovely quick hands from Montpellier. Can they turn something around? The little chip and chase is the idea. It's collected by Lester Etienne. He's looking for a way through. Nowhere for him to go. Lays the ball back. Well, Montpellier may just have uh, missed an opportunity there because, again, Stade Francais were caught napping. There will be gaps. Oh, there's Makalu, brilliantly tackled by uh, Nico Jansa van Rensburg. Super work from the uh, South African. And in fact, they're going to get the penalty for an offside. Saw the, uh, the pace there of Makalu. You saw a flash of it. A flank forward, he is quick. Dragged down, hunted down. Like a lion on an antelope. Good clearance into the 22. Ducky wound up to Handawi. It wasn't, wasn't quite on the same uh, thought process. Oh, once again, the uh, it's gone long. Stade Francais have it. A little bit of a standoff there between the uh, front row forwards. It's so slow coming back. Weber gets his hands on it eventually. He's back for Sigon. Well taken by Tisserand. Steals a few yards, but uh, touch judge is OK. Clock where the ball went out. Stafford say lead by six points to three, but at the moment it feels as though they're a little bit under the cosh. Montpellier on the side who are threatening more at the moment. Stafford say seem to be uh, under pressure whenever they've got the ball. Famous last words. Tolafur finds his man, Willemsa. Now, can they go better? Beconnier. Stays on his feet, Danny goes now, lays the ball back. It's there for Reinach. He decides to go over the top and send the chasers in. Taken by Sigon, calls the mark. Stade Francais had the chance to clear. Time Carbonell does get uh, Boutier moving quickly, drills the ball back up into the uh, 22. Segond collects, runs the ball out, and fires it deep all the way back. Carbonell has it, and here we go. Wouldn't say the aerial ping pong, but he's landed it straight into touch. Back it comes again. Carbonell back on his heels. Tees up the kick. That one did not go into touch. Segond has it. Well, you can hear the crowd booing and whistling and then cheering because it's gone through the back. Jory Segond was playing the game and lost. He's uh, He's drilled it through the back of the dead ball area. And that means they're going to have to come all the way back. Well, hopefully that's the end of the aerial ping pong for the afternoon. Montpellier have the put in. Allez, 
Some decent backs in there. Mentioned Akuwanga a few times. Jan Serfontaine wearing 12. Arthur Vincent at 13. Both internationals. Julien Tisseron on the wing and uh, Anthony Boutier at full back. But uh, they're not going to get their hands on the ball because down they go again. And this time, uh, Jonathan Gagnier reckons that it was uh, the fault of the Montpellier forward. Stade Francais get the, put, uh, get the uh, penalty. Alexandre Beconnier fails to understand the logic. Hands were in there. You to be using your hands in the uh, scrummage, Alexandre. It was a fair cop. The Brazilians go short. Oh, lovely work, Hamdawi. Cutting through, he's taken down. In goes uh, Alo Emil. As a go. Ryan Chapuis, and there's a little bit of a, a gap opening up there for Abramashvili. Unable to take it this time, but Stade Francais attacking Daku Wanga. Gets through uh, one tackle. Oh, he's knocked it on, and in fact, he's uh, won the penalty. It looked to me as though he knocked it forward. So what was the penalty for? Arthur Vincent asking the same question. Oh, not uh, going for the points this time, going for the corner. Well, the crowd not happy. I'm not surprised. I, I'm not convinced that was uh, the right call. But anyway, play continues. Doing well. They've uh, secured the ball. At least they can uh, get this one clear. Reinach doesn't make touch. Lester Etienne collects and drives straight back into the defence. This is really good work by the uh, by the wing up. Weber feeds. It's quick ball that time for uh, Stade Francais. It makes such a difference when they can uh, recycle it quickly. Chapuis. Weber feeds once more. Up on the 22, but not getting any closer at the moment. This is good defence from Montpellier. Paul Gustard has done... Uh, 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 sorry, not Paul Gustard. Uh, Benson Stanley's done a good job on the defence for Montpellier. Paul Gustard on the uh, Stade Francais side, of course. Back they come. Little knock on. And it's going to be a Montpellier put in. Tyler Duguay. The Canadian with a little smile. As I go, drag down, the ball squeezing out of his hand, bouncing around all over the place. Back they come for the knock on. Well, approaching half time and just uh, Three penalties to show for our efforts so far today. Last week, of course, the uh, Parisians were trailing 6-0 at half-time. So, again, not, a, not exactly a thrill a minute first 40 against Lyon. They came back well in the second half. And the uh, Parisians, they uh, have often found themselves behind at half-time. Still managed to 
come through and win. I think it's 11 times they've been trading at halftime. And they've come back to win on six of those. They are marginally in front at the moment. Six points to three. I did warn you, these two sides are not big point scorers, not big try scorers. Here's a hoping we will get a few tries at least to enjoy. Two defences really, uh, really well coached. Penalty this time game for Montpellier. It's uh, Sege Abramashvili. Georgia under 20 player. He's, he is only 20 years old. Three starts last season. This is his uh, 12th game this season. His, uh, sorry, his 13th game, his ninth start. So gradually stepping up uh, Abramashvili. Look out for him at the next World Cup. Mind you, Georgia produced so many top quality props that uh, he may not even get close. On the other side, we've got Lasha Macharashvili. Tight head for Montpellier. On the, we've also got Yogi Melikidze on the uh, Stade Francais bench. And uh, we've also got Kakadze, the replacement hooker for Montpellier. There goes Dakuwanga. Oh, he's found the gap. Now, can anyone stop Dakuwanga? Oh, this is terror in the Montpellier. Oh, dear, it goes to ground. Well, what a shame. Uh, you almost think he would have been better. Now it's the other Dakuwanga showing what he can do. Well, the crowd spotted something. The referee's arm is out. The advantage is with Montpellier. And they still have it. Arthur Vincent takes one around the neck. And this is going to be a penalty at least. And there may be a, there may be a little look here. Alou Emile is the man in the spotlight. So Christophe Berdos, the uh, VAR, is going to have to have a look at this uh, tackle from Paul Aloemila. It's Dakuwaka, and he comes charging in. That's a very upright challenge on the winger. The shoulders leading, there's no attempt to wrap. That left arm is uh, down by his side. I don't know why players do that. I honestly don't make the wrap. That's going to be trouble for Paul Alou Emile. And that could be uh, a very important moment in this match. Well, at the least, it's a penalty. I suspect it'll be a penalty in a yellow at the least. It could be a red. Yellow it is. OK, well... That seems reasonable. Hello, Emil, leading with the shoulder. So Stade Francais lose a man for the next 10 minutes. Five minutes either side of half time. There he goes. That was the uh, the first Dakuwaku. That was Peniassi. Just seemed to lose. Uh, Lose his pace a little bit, slowed himself down, running into his brother. I wonder if that was it. Caught his brother in his eye and uh, didn't fancy big brother. Stan Francais with 14 men. They've got uh, four minutes to get through before half time, before they can uh, just uh, 
Uh, reassess the situation. High ball from Segond into the 22. Taken. And away goes Boutier immediately. Boutier. Oh, he's got through the tackle of Dakuwanga. Tyler Dugui driving hard. Now, can Montpellier use this one man advantage? Reinach wants the ball. He wants it quickly. He's looking for the gap himself, Garbus Reinach. It's not there right now. Carbonell feeds. There is Dakuwanga again. Now, who's there to pick up? Oh, nobody. Almost went to Stade Francais, but uh, fortunately for uh, Montpellier, they managed to get their hands on it. But it's come back on the other side. And now Stade Francais, can they counter attack in these last three minutes? Some big tackling, you don't want to range the front row like that. Never a good idea. As a go. Well, it really is. It's uh, spilling around like a bar of soap at the moment, the ball. Back they come, the referee saying it was a knock-on from the blue shirts of Montpellier first. So Stade Francais will have the put in. A little bit of blood. Well, poor old Dakuanga was uh, laying it back. No blue shirts were coming for him. Very nearly went into the uh, pink hands. A fumble. These two brothers have been quite enjoying this uh, match-up. What we need is for both of them to score a try. Set this game up for the second half. Well, Stade Francais making that enforced change. Dakuanga having to give way to uh, Jorgi Melikidze because it's a uh, scrummage. <laughs> so uh, that's the injury list for Montpellier. Brendan uh, Brandon playing Garamosa among them. Sam Simmons, Lenny Nucci we mentioned. Uh, Tolenia we've seen plenty of this season. Coley reserve, uh, Leo Coley the reserve uh, scrum half. Today we have Aubin Emery, 21 years old, on the on the bench covering the scrum half. Place. But uh, all teams in the top 14 have uh, injuries, as they do in every league throughout the world. It is a part of life in professional rugby. Not even a professional rugby, it's an amateur rugby as well, it used to happen. Before those days of 95, 96 when the game turned pro. Stade Francais with Jory Segon drilling the ball upfield, but well taken by Anthony Boutier. Crunches it back into uh, Segon's hands. And the Parisian fly half. Oh, gives it back. There's Hamdawi with the chance to kick the ball long. Well, it's dull rugby when it comes to this. You can hear the whistles. No, 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 no! He has not touched. He has not touched. Well, if you're paying money for your ticket, I think you're going to be a bit annoyed to see this kind of uh, show. The ball just hoofed from one end to the other. It's not good rugby. It's not a good look for the sport. It doesn't sell the sport. The sooner it's got rid of, the better. <laughs> 
12 seconds remaining. So probably the last play before half time. We lost a couple of minutes with that uh, pointless kicking. And there is the hoot up. This looks as though it's uh, heading towards the touch line. Yes, Weber just uh, runs it into touch. And that is the end of a, a disappointing first half, it's got to be told. Not too many highlights to write home about. Pellier trailed by three points to six against the leaders, Stade Francais, but uh, there hasn't been much between the sides. There haven't been too many outstanding moments either. Two penalties from Jory Segond against one from Louis Carbonel. C'est malheureusement le match auquel on s'attendait. Euh, cette équipe de Paris euh, vous pose énormément de problèmes. C'est très hermétique, c'est ce qu'on disait il y a quelques instants. Ça fait une grosse défense, ils jouent là-dessus, sur la pression, sur euh, envoyer yeah. l'adversaire. Dans son is camp, et aujourd'hui, on arrive strong. plutôt à bien le gérer, même si on, on est pas mal dans le camp. Mais on arrive à lot. rester patient, là, ça fait 6-3, ils ont un carton. To be, uh, Alors, il faut continuer patient. comme ça, on essaie de refuser, mais on n'est pas loin. On est en train de marquer, donc il faut rester patient jusqu'au bout, on sait que ça va être dur. Stay patient and see what we can do in the second half. Merci parce qu'il était parti au vestiaire, il revient. Merci. C'est bon, c'est pas simple pour vous non plus. Ça commençait très très bien. Il y a eu un petit peu plus d'indiscipline et ce carton jaune qui coûte cher. Mais sinon, ça ressemble quand même à un bon match à l'extérieur pour l'instant. Oui, exactement. Comme vous l'avez dit, c'est un match extérieur avec beaucoup d'engagement. Match away from home. Il y a pas mal de vent, donc on essaie de d'être fort sur les bases. Grosse défense. Occupation, on voit qu'on arrive à les faire. Just work on the bases. Good defense. Clairement sur la touche, donc faut continuer comme ça. Occupy the territory. And uh, that's how we're going bon, to win this game in the second half. So, he's a back used to play for Stade Francais. Five years with them. Stade Francais on the bench. They've got uh, Leo Barrier, of course, and Hugo Zabalza. Those are their two backs. But, uh, they also have Paul Gabriag, part of the French Six Nations squad. Tanginoa Halai Fonua and uh, Mathieu Irigoyen. All three of those started Allez. last week's game. Clément Castet as well. So it's Louis Carbonel gets us underway for the start of this second half. Drops the ball high. It's well taken by uh, Pierre Henri Azago. Once again, it's uh, as we saw in the first half. It is slow ball from uh, Stade Francais. They just take it into the mall, look to work the ball up a few metres, and actually they're making good progress now. This is good work from them. Pierre Blanc, reculé, uh, reculé, reculé bleu. the hooker, going well. They've made about 10 metres there. See how the ball just taken in. Referee saying play it. Brad Weber finally uh, lofts the high ball. Boudon quickly on to the, uh, the catcher. It's fed back, played by uh, Van Rensburg. Carbonell feeds outside. Is there a little bit of room? Tisseron can't get through. All back for uh, Kobus Reinach. Willemse with a big drive. Christopher Tolafua. Started the season with too long, Tolafua. Transferred halfway through, came on as a replacement against Racing, and uh, obviously scored on debut. Ah, ah, forward. Ah, a little bit of a disappointment there for uh, Montpellier. Yes, yes, yes. Le rose touche le ballon, mais le rose va vers l'arrière. Et après le bleu la retouche, ça fait un avant. Is the, the ref. Of course, uh, news this week that Mathieu Reynal, very experienced French referee, was going to hang up his whistle at the end of the season. He's uh, officiated over 350 matches at the highest level. Mathieu Reynal, to the top 14 finals. Participated in three World Cups and 11 Six Nations Championships. He will be missed. Uh, there are people around who are not fans of Mathieu Reynard's refereeing, but he's uh, he struck me as fairly solid. Put 
in from uh, Stamford Say from Brad Webber. But the uh, scrummage goes down once again. Chat there with Baptiste Dozio. Oh, the season from Biarritz. Karim Ghazal in a remarkably good mood for a man whose team only has a three point lead. He hasn't played particularly brilliantly. We have got the penalty, however. Putting the ball on the ground. Jerry Sigon putting boot to leather. Turning the ball into touch. That is Igosio penalised. Igosio Tolafua putting the uh, front rows down. Makalu with the take. Stade Francais come. Can they uh, finally pierce this Montpellier defence? Lester Etienne has the ball. He's looking for a way through. Scrambles through on his knees. Has he laid the ball down? Did he drop it? No, says the ref. He's happy with what's going on. Bukufna feeds it back. Segond launches the drop goal. Through it goes. Joris Segond. Nudges Stade Francais ahead. The first points of the second half with that drop goal. It's now nine points to three. Well set up. Neatly taken. And hit splendidly. Soon back up to 15 men, Stade Francais. It hasn't hurt them. Losing Paul Allo Emile for 10 minutes. Sortez, 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 sortez! Well, Boutier was the man with the up and under. The man who came off second best in the challenge. And the man who's won the penalty. Sergei Abramashvili. Coming off second pass there. So Carbonell puts the ball into the corner. Stade Francais should be back up to 15. So the replacements queuing up on the touch lines to make their way onto the field. So for letter and Titi Lamositele make their way onto the field. For Montpellier. I'm sure what the shoving is for. Start from say back up to 15. So Dakawanga is back on. Hello, Emil is back on. Yogi Melikinche is off. Back to the bench. Christopher Tolafua with the line out for him. Oh, short, it's well taken by Beconnier. Now the drive is on from uh, Montpellier. Just a few metres from the Stade Francais line. Can they make this count? Driving towards the line, they're over and they have the try. Montpellier have got the first score. And it is Christopher Tolafua, the hooker, who has got it. And Montpellier are back in this game. 
Well, it's like a cork coming out of the bottle. There's so much relief there all round that we finally have a try on the board. Tolafua with his second try of the season. Uh, his second try of the season for Montpellier. I should stress. Did score one as well for Toulon. But this was the, uh, the big drive off the back of the line out. Tolafua scrambling through, gets the ball down, and you can see what it means. Chris, it's good for you. I have a double that falls on the ground and that falls on the ground. Thank you. Thank you. Such relief around the stud. Yves Dumanois. Being happier if Carbonell can stick this between the posts, which he can. And Montpellier are in front for the first time in this match. They lead Stade Francais 10 points to 9. Well, it's always lovely when you get the first try of the game. It doesn't really matter who scores it, but uh, just to get off the mark, you just wonder, you just hope and wonder whether that will be the catalyst for uh, a few more tries in the second half. Montpellier lead by 10 points to nine. Remember, they're 13th in the table. Need a win. A hammering last week at Toulon. Have won their uh, last five home games. Pierre Blanc finds Macalou. Now Stade Francais have got to. Uh, Shift gears a little bit now. They've been rather freewheeling to this point. They have the penalty. Well, it is kickable. And Segon is going for the posts. It was the infringement, it was uh, Florian Verhage who was, uh, come on, in place of Paul Willemser, I think, who was penalised in the line out. Sagan. Let's put that one wide. He reckons it went through. Harry Gazal reckons it went through. coming on at Hooker and uh, Bastien Chalorou. So the front five, uh, completely fresh for Montpellier. I say oddly, the uh, second worst kicking record in the uh, top categories. For this game, they have a 69% conversion rate. Only one team was worse than them in the uh, top kettles, and that, amazingly, was Toulouse, 68%. So, step one out of three. So on the course, pop over that fine drop goal. Allez, 
reflection. Well, now you've got a completely fresh Montpellier front five. How are they going to fare now against this uh, Stade Francais pack, which, uh, by contrast, will be tiring a little bit. Two centers haven't really had much of a game, either of them. Chance to really show their mettle. Flexion! Lié! There's the squeeze. Arbel Kufner with the pickup. It's untidy. Sigon flings it wide for Marchant. Oh, Marchant gets the handoff on one. Mr. Etienne takes the ball in. He manages to pop it back. Oh, he's bundled into touch. Oh, this is awkward. Sigon has it. He needs a bit of help. No, no, no. There's an offside. Back they come. And I suspect Sigon. We'll tee this up. Droitier, la liaison qui va au sol. Auto. 23. Titi Ramo Citele penalised. The scrummage. And going down. Tight head for Montpellier, and that gives Segond a chance to put Stade Francais back in front. Over it goes. Stade Francais retake the lead. 12 points to 10. They're up. Segon moves to 99 points for the season. And placements make their way on for Stade Francais. That's Paul Gabriag coming on. Wearing 18. He's. Uh, So uh, Ryan Chapuis has made his way off. Four, Off we go again. Good take from the uh, from Irigoyen. His first touch of the ball since coming on. Now there's a little bit of room down that uh, touchline is there. Sir Fontaine trying to uh, keep it in well. Carbonell, Carbonell has it, manages to get it back. In goes Van Rensburg. Montpellier looking to uh, set things up, going nicely, keeping the ball in hand. Oh, some big tackle there on uh, La Mositele. Carbonell keeps going forward. Reinach with the kick over the top. Hamdawi coming for it, does well, collects. Now Hamdawi can be dangerous on the counter. Lays it back, quick ball would be good, here it comes. Stade Francais laying it back. Weber, no, it's not Weber, it's uh, Irigoyen who takes it on, and it pops back on the uh, blue side. Quick hands, is that a tackle on a man without the ball? Diego, well, Dakuwanga feeding outside. Uh, Verhaga is back with Dakuwanga. Lays it back. 
Reinach has it. Spreading the ball wide to the other side of the field. Can they open it up? Serponte feeding Boutier. Van Rensburg. He's going over the line. Daku Wanger gets the tackle in. It's gone into touch. Good defensive work from uh, Peniasi Daku Wanger. Well, he did well there, the winger. Action going right across the field. It's a good steal. Yep. Shoulder up from Rensburg, dragged into touch by Daku Wanga. Briag with the take. Paul Alouamil. Oh, no, Thundering forward. Weber. Joula. Again, waiting patiently for the ball to come back. Goes high. And it's collected by uh, Lamo Satelli. <laughs> and Montpellier have gained themselves the penalty. Well, it's just the way it's going to go for the last 20 minutes. I wonder just this uh, chipping away. Trying to have a penalty here and there. A little seesaw in the scoreboard, and then what will happen in the last five minutes? Who knows? I can see that the penalty was given for the, uh, the hand on the shoulder. It was barely a tackle. It's it's a a rushing uh, to tell his hair there. Oui, mais c'est pour ça que je vous, je vous ai laissé le temps. Enfin, je vous, vous ai laissé le temps, mais c'était le bordel. C'est bon On prend du temps. Carbonell, though. Here's the chance. Once more to put Montpellier in front. On continue comme ça, les gars. Mais juste communiquer d'avoir couleur, couleur, couleur. Et là, moi, je, 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 je suis de l'autre côté. A bit of distance on this one. Two over two so far, Carbonell. Five points to his name. He's pushed it wide. So there is a bit of wind whipping up off the Mediterranean, which may be affecting the, uh, the goal kicker slightly. Segon and Carbonell. Both with a, a miss each. Sagan fires it long. Carbonell collects. Sends up the high ball. Sagan collects. He's uh, scragged by uh, Clément Dumont oh. in the blue hat. Oh, the charge down from uh, Van Rensburg, and he's won it back. That's terrific stuff from the, uh, the former Blue Bull. Forward drive, Montpellier. They've got the wind in their sails right behind them now, driving them forward. In goes for Letta. Chalvaux is uh, helping out. Still, they keep coming. The crowd getting right behind their team now. But the whistle has gone. Holding on. And it goes the other way. So it all, all that good work comes to nothing. Stade Francais stout in their defence. That was the charge down from Van Rensburg, he did really well in the follow-up. 
when he uh, scragged it away from uh, Dakuwanga. Paul Willemsa with the charge. And then just hanging on to it. Gone, gets the uh, clearance away. Changement bleu, 14. 14. Here comes Jeffrey Dumeru. Excuse me. Six. Six. The, uh, Six. Hard, evidently. It's a cadeau making his way on. to uh, turn the screw a little bit now in the uh, in the forwards They're going nicely Their nose is in front at 12 10. Parisians have the scrummage. Breakfoot, s'il vous plaît. Breakfoot. Je vous demande de mettre le breakfoot. Vous avez talonné, pas de souci, mais mettez le breakfoot. Flexion. Lié. Je. Reste, 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 reste. Here comes Irigoyen. Oh, there's Weber down the touchline. Weber with the kick and chase. Oh, now chasing up behind him. Oh, Dakuwanga almost made it. Oh, just uh, bouncing out though before he could get there. Oh, oh, oh. went Weber. There was plenty of space. It was a good idea. Ball just. Uh, just Olivier. bouncing the wrong Olivier, way. Olivier, Olivier. Calme, set. Set, calme. Taku Wanga. <laughs> the speed with which he uh, raced past Weber. Van Rensburg has had a terrific game today. Van Rensburg. That's the collect there. There's a bit of an argy bargy going on between Willemser and Makalu. That's uh, the two captains. Really, are the two French international teammates. Not sure what that's about. They're still going at it, it seems. A little bit of uh, head rubbing. And there'll undoubtedly be a few words going on there. Fortunately, we can't hear them. I don't need to interpret those. Something just bubbling over there between the two of them. Yeah, what caused it? Well, it looked as though uh, there was some scragging around the, uh, the jock strap area. 
of Makalu. A little push back from Willemsen and then it kicked off. And a little uh, eye to eye. Both being sent away to cool off a little bit, I think. But he's got the yellow card, Makalu. And they both have a little bit of time to think about what they've done. Well, it's not a great example to set the two captains being given the yellow cards, but uh, on the upside, for those of us watching, both teams down to 14. Maybe we'll just open up a little bit of space. Because uh, this game needs it. Flexio! Lié! Jacques! Ruminating on life. As a way, comes uh, Clement Dumont. Number, oh dear, little knock forward. Ferrag, uh, I think, who uh, knocked on there. They always say if you want to be a champion, you need to win ugly. And uh, stuff from, say, win today, they will certainly be living up to that. Yes, indeed, they did last week with their victory over Lyon. Another pretty grisly game. Weber feeds Segon. Scrag to the ground. Gets the ball back well, though. Marchant is uh, really struggling to hang on there. Staff will say still have it. Looking for the gap. That looks as though the, the ball is coming out now for Weber. New Zealander back again. Boudon feeds Sigon. Bakuwanga. Oh, it's not a good pass for Este Etienne. It really wasn't Etienne's fault. A better pass than Etienne might have been in that. Well, he's done a lot right today, Dakuwanga, but that was uh, that was not good. Flings the ball long, that's nicely done. It's uh, well taken by Clément Dumont. Pellier had the ball. Reinach goes over the top. Etienne, ball in hand. He gets past one tackler, that's nice work from him. Hamdawi, here goes Daku Wanger racing at the defence, he sees a gap. Looks to fly through it. Big charge from Reinach on him. There's Etienne. Nice little bit of work from Etienne. And Dowie is with him. No, 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 no. Uh, Stade Francais backs coming to life now. This is nice to see. Oh, Emile is uh, upended. Leblanc <laughs> looks uh, for support. Back the other way. Little dink through from Hamdawi. Is there anyone on the end of it? Louis Carbonell touches down, averts the danger. Montpellier look to get the ball moving. But once again, the game held up. 
by the need to make yet another substitute. Leo Barre making his way on from Dakawanga. It is one of the irritations, these constant stoppages. It's one of those things that Mathieu Reynal spoke out about. When he said he was retiring, he said he would like to see fewer replacements, but really, maybe a case of uh, allowing replacements every 10 minutes. On the 40, the 50, the 60, the 70, because when it's, it's dribbling in, dribbling off. Well, there's the drop goal attempt we saw earlier. Dakuwaka. Yeah, these constant uh, interruptions really do stymie the flow of the game. Here they come. Well, we do get an awful lot of cracking games of rugby in the top categories. This may not be among those, but uh, don't let that put you off. There is some brilliant rugby on show this weekend, every weekend. Not every single game can be a cool cup. Sagan had the chance to extend the Stade Francais lead. Once again, he misses. So another fail from Joey Sagan. That's his second. Uh, Missed penalty. And the score remains Montpellier 10, Stade Francais 12. Just 10 minutes remaining in the match. We've had one try to brighten up our day so far. It came from, uh, it was a forwards try. Christopher Tolifur was the scorer. Oh, I think I'm willing this one to be over. Once, uh, once Louis Cardinal can pop over another three points and put their team in front. So Luca Perblanc takes a breather. And Mamadou met the 21-year-old. Uh, Arrival this season from Massi. Takes his place. He has just uh, 57 minutes to his name thus far in the uh, top categories. He's uh, appeared as a replacement. In, uh, this is the fourth time he's replaced in on his replacement. He's one of six players to have come from the Massi club in the Stade Francais 23 today. But there's Montpellier who come away. The break is with Dumont. Dumont gets back on his feet, lays the ball back now, the, uh, the number eight. But he's holding on too long. Nothing comes of it. To play by the rules of the game. Otherwise, Jonathan Gasnier is going to ping you. Into touch. No thoughts of a, a bonus point for Stade Francais at this point. They'll be happy to uh, just scrap away and uh, get the victory. Mm. 
Je sais pas, monsieur. Of course, still in uh, bonus point territory, if nothing else at the moment. Je vous laisse le temps. Win. Attends que le set il arrive. Attends, attends, garde, garde, attends, attends, attends. They one point behind Leon, so a bonus point will put them level at least for the moment. And two points behind uh, Perpignan, five points behind Clermont, so a victory now would lift them up to uh, lift them up a couple of places. Pressure on. Those clubs around them. Oh, bon, bon, beginning to stretch, preparing to come on again, replaying back onto the field after the. Uh, the yellow card, but... Make an impact in these last few minutes, help his team get across the line. Leo Barre. He's there, he's uh, made his debut for France during the Six Nations. Full back. Most of the season, and that's where he is now. Hamdawi moving to the wing. <laughs> front rows pop again, but uh, play on, says the ref. Carbonell. The ball in. Montpellier moving forward. Carbonell feeds outside. After Vincent looking for the way through. Reinach feeds. Not getting very far, very fast at the moment, Montpellier. It's, uh, you've got to say the defence is outstanding. Dakuwanga dragged down. Oh, no. Again across, intercepted. It's Irigoyen who collects over the top from Weber. To touch goes. In the 22, that's nicely done by Weber. Has to put a little bit of more pressure onto the home side as uh, Makalu and Willemser take their places once again on the field. Well, no sign of any uh, public kissing and making up there the two of them. Perhaps there is a bit Akadze finds his man. Two more looks to burrow away forward. Just over five minutes remaining, another score. Could be the clincher. Oh, a little knock on oh, from Van Rensburg. Well, it's unfair to uh, pull out Van Rensburg too much. He has had a, an extremely good game, the South African. The fumbles we've seen from both sides have uh, littered the game. Inability to complete. It's been good defence from both sides. That has to be said, which has uh, nullified a lot of the uh, more ambitious play. But there has been an awful lot of ambitious play. Flexion. Lié. Je. Big drive on from Stade Francais, they have the ball, Weber feeds, Segon, it's not a great uh, feed to uh, to Marchand rather, he does well the Englishman, makes some ground, lays the ball back, stops it, brings it back, 
for a penalty, which uh, he could probably have awarded a little bit earlier. Let's have a little chat with the skippers. Just getting them to uh, get on with it. There's been a, a distinct lack of getting on with it, particularly from Stade Francais in this game. They've slowed the game down at every opportunity, drawn it out. It hasn't been attractive rugby at all, it has to be said. the stuff of champions they lead the top 14 and if it stays the same they will uh, continue to lead the top 14 at the end of this weekend round 26 more to come in the regular season clocking up the points at the moment their ambition to finish in the top two driving towards the line down it goes Weber has his hands on it stumbles Etienne, unable to do much with it, but does lay it back. Big tackle. Still there for the pink shirts of Stade Francais. Can they round this game off? Can they finish it off in uh, grandstand style with, with a try? Weber. Now the ball feeds wide, a long floated pass, almost the intercept has gone off the boot of Hamdawi. Oh, that could have gone either way. It's still with Stade Francais, Weber feeding, Makalu. Oh, Willems are the first in there, but Makalu does well, rode the tackle, got the ball back. In they go once again. Oh, and it's stolen. The referee says not, no, he brought them back again for uh, Something he spotted 20 minutes ago. <laughs> giving Stade Francais the option, he says there were three penalties, giving them the option of where they, where they go. I imagine Segon will be quite happy just to stick this through the posts. Push it up to 15-10. Uh, that will leave Montpellier needing a try in the last minute. If that, the clock still ticking away. So just uh, look at that. So really, really dragging their heels. This is this is this is professionalism. Uh, a deliberate ploy to slow the game down. It's, it's not pretty to look at. Good take by McAloo. Into the last minute, the drive is on for Stade Francais. But it's turned over. Well now, what can Montpellier do from behind their own goal line? Can they turn this round? Reinach feeds. Carbonell, which way is he gonna go? Straight up, oh, he's scragged right in front of his post. You wanna be careful here. It's back again for Reinach, they can't kick it, they can't kick it because if this goes out, it's going to be game over. Serfontaine, where's he going? There's the Hooter. Now, you've got to run this up the field, boys. You mustn't give it away, no mistakes. All the way to the end, Vincent. There's no way through this uh, pink curtain closing around every blue player. Well, Irigoyen has done well there. Has he managed to uh, claim that one? I think he has. They've got the put in, and that is the end of the game. It was uh, an ugly finish to an ugly match. Not too many highlights in this one, just one try, but it is a vital win. The result is all important for Stade Francais. They have beaten Montpellier by 12 points to 10. The home side do at least pick up a bonus point, but this is not one that will last long in the memory. Well, smiles uh, from Karim Gezel because, uh, of course, in professional rugby, the result is king. You want 
to win the match, you want to get the points, you want to climb the table. They stay top of the top 14. With uh, 